Right then, this is a walk around video. Hopefully you can hear me, it's a bit windy today. And this is for a Honda CRV 1.6 SR diesel. Finished in black, um, looks absolutely fantastic. This car has done 51,000 miles with a full service history. Now, I've parked here by the way, because it's a lovely sunny day, but doing them in the shades better because it picks up on any imperfections better that way. So I'm not trying to be sneaky. Uh, lights and lenses completely clear and intact. Front bumper very, very clean indeed. Likewise, bonnet of the car, hardly a stone chip anywhere on there at all. It's a lovely condition. Near side of the car, passenger side, really smooth in the panel work. Near side front alloy, again, really good. The panels are really, really nice. Inside a rear alloy, completely unmarked. I recommend on this angle, you can see again on there and around the back of the car, all very, very clean and tidy. Come around to the offside, driver's side, again, very, very smooth in the panel work, as you can see. Offside rear alloy, again, absolutely unmarked. And then the remaining panels are really good. I mean, there will be the odd very very light little mark but you have to look quite hard to find one i'm afraid or oh, i shouldn't say that and the offside front alloy find it absolutely superb it's coming to boot now absolutely enormous boots and this one has been kept in really really lovely condition back here as well which isn't always the case with you know a state car the car often they can be used quite heavily actually coming to the back of the car now big wide opening rear doors absolutely tons of legroom in these crvs and the fabrics everything in here is in lovely condition sorry it's a bit dark but it's better than so doing in the glaring sunshine and the half leather it just looks fantastic on them as i said it's the front passenger door card again really clean and tidy as are all the footwell areas and front passenger seat there again in really really nice condition it's finally cut to the front and the driver's door card again, really, really clean and tidy. And driver's seat, the one takes all the wear, but this one has been spared. It's in really lovely condition. So sat inside the car now. Engine's running through the section so the dash can be seen illuminated. The dashboard looks absolutely as new. It's in beautiful condition. If I go up there, just pop the car into reverse. Get that lovely, clear, gridded parking camera working exactly as it should. But it says really, really lovely condition in here. And then up to the dashboard, and in there, you can see 51,388 miles, and there are no warning lights on whilst the engine's running. It has been kept very, very nicely, this vehicle. Just to quickly show you, owner's manual pack and lock and wheel nut key both here and present with the car. Right then, this is a quick road test video. And this is for a Honda CRV, and it's a 1.6 SR diesel. This particular car is registered SD14 GVE, and mileage is 51,382 miles. As I say in all of the videos, the reason we do these videos is very simple indeed. Uh, we basically just want to make sure that if you're looking at this car online in an advert, you actually get opportunity to see the, that actual car driven um, and I can feed back any um, issues that may be with the car prior to coming to see us. Um, the reason being that we know to our costs just how frustrating it can be to go and see a car which can look fantastic in the description and then the photographs only to get there and find out that it's got a fundamental problem which you clearly should have been told about before setting off so that's why we do it. It's also done on these very quiet country roads, uh, very close to our premises, and this actually forms part of the test drive route any prospective buyer would go on. So hopefully then it would be representative of what you'd feel yourself. So coming to the car itself, um, been very well looked after this car, um, very recently serviced, and we'll be going for an independent MOT, hopefully sometime tomorrow. Um, engine starts absolutely instantly and settles to completely smooth and even idle. Uh, 
there are no warning lights on the dashboard at all relating to the engine or any other part of the vehicle for that matter temperature gauge running as a third which is exactly where it's meant to be on a Honda car by the way whether it be petrol or diesel so all absolutely spot on the engines are just brilliant and don't think for a second because it's kind of only a 1.6 diesel it's not man enough for a CRV it it is it pulls really really nicely uh, it's also nice and quiet and smooth in operation uh, it's, but what it is spectacular with is its fuel economy. They are really, really, really efficient engines. Um, I've had numerous 1.6 diesels um, in Civics and in the CRVs. Obviously, in the Civic being a little car, um, it's more efficient still. You know, I get 65 to the gallon after that. Uh, these, I tend to average over 50 to the gallon and without trying particularly hard. And I know you can get a lot more and you can get less depending on your driving style of course but it isn't an engine you've got to you know, nurse along to get that kind of economy it's, it's relatively easy actually the engines also have Honda's reputation for being incredibly reliable and long lasting with just regular uh, standard maintenance on the vehicle um, and they are timing chains not cam belts so no huge service looming at any point either engine then feeds through into the clutch and gearbox clutch in the car absolutely perfect bike points exactly where it's meant to be and it's nice and smooth and positive in actuation gearbox is just fantastic it's what i love in a gearbox it's short and throw it's snappy it's incredibly precise it's a gearbox you actually enjoy using rather than some of the kind of the clumsy things you get in um, suvs and I can feel absolutely nowhere in the linkage at all. Feels absolutely perfect. Steering on the car, again, feels tight as a drum. Tracks absolutely bullet straight. There's no vibrations or at this speed, at any speed up to the legal limit. It's also really nice on the road. It gives you, makes the car feel nice and um, solid on the road. And, um, it, it, and for a car of its type, it's also very accurate, and very precise in the steering as well um, which isn't to say it's a sports car because it clearly isn't but it, it isn't so, like some cars which can be quite vague and overly light it, it, it's very confidence inspiring the chassis likewise hits the sweet spot between giving good body control but also giving a comfortable ride because it's very very comfortable indeed uh, Honda you know, the, the CRV is the best-selling SUV in the world, so clearly they've done something right. And what they give you is a very, it's a very comfortable, really nicely damped ride, but where you can go through corners, whether tight ones, fast ones, or otherwise, and the body control is really good, so you don't get lots of body motion, which you get in, again in some taller vehicles. Um, what I'm also looking for on road tests, by the way, is any noises coming from underneath the car that shouldn't be there, uh, which normally when you hit a bump like that one, you just about hear it hitting the bump but you, what you don't want to be hearing is any kind of sort of clattering and knocking noises and there's nothing at all on the car it's all exactly as it should be I'm just going to swing around here so we give the brakes a bit of a shove um, worth pointing out the car's going to be fitted with new rear brake pads part of the pre-delivery inspection we did just picked up the one a little bit on the low side so they're going to be done but I'm just going to give them a bit of a thump but yeah it's a good solid brake pedal on the car which is what you want to feel looking around inside the car first thing you noticed is just how well made these cars are they are beautifully put together um, but they're also a lovely place to sit because you get really good visibility huge wing mirrors on the car um, but it's a simple dashboard to use. Um, it's got, you know, being the SR, it's very well equipped. I'm gonna sneeze, so it's coming and going. It's nearly there, but not quite. Uh, right, um, the, the switch gear is of the very highest quality. It's got a lovely kind of rubbery, um, precise actuation to it. You've got dual zone climate control, which, um, so side to side, you can have different temperatures and it's blowing out lovely cold air and it's a particularly steamy humid day it's 26 degrees but very humid indeed with thunderstorms looming by all accounts um you've got heated seats which clearly you don't need today but they all work exactly as they should 
the SR's get this lovely half leather interior which is really lovely all year round so you don't get sort of burning backside on the leather um, like you do with some of the, the top of the range ones um, dashboard simplistic easy to use all the information you need and no more and it just works wonderfully well steering wheel small in diameter feels really nice in hand and feels absolutely as new to hold as well um, controls things like sort of radio information display uh, but also your cruise control as well there it go, but everything working exactly as it should As I said at the start of the video, the point of it is literally just to show the car in operation, but to feedback on anything um, that's obvious on the car, which is nothing at all. It drives absolutely beautifully. Uh, they always do. I mean, they're, they're just a, a really, really good used by. Um, lots of people sort of have had Hondas, sometimes tempted to go away and try some of what I call the cheaper brands, but I'm not going to name the names, uh, but then come scuttling back to Honda when they realise that, you know, Honda's engineering is more than skin deep, whereas some of the others, um, you know, can feel nice to drive on a test drive, but the longer you own them, they, they start to grate with sort of the cheapness of some of the engineering within the car. But these are just a really solid, strong mechanical car, um, which also happen to be nice to look at and also lovely to drive, which is the um, whole point of owning a car, hopefully. Um, but there's nothing on this to worry about at all. It drives, as I said, absolutely beautifully.